Sleep pattern making for men's dress shirt. Hi, I'm Jean. Welcome to Pattern Studio 101. This channel is all about pattern making. If you enjoy my videos, join my email list. Once a week, you will get extra pattern making lessons from me. You can join my email list on my website, patternstudio101.com. We drafted a men's dress shirt pattern last week, front and back bodies. If you haven't watched it yet, it's episode 102. I'll put the link in the description box. Based on the shirt pattern we drafted last week, let's make sleeve patterns. Before we start drafting a sleeve pattern, you want to measure the body armhole length. This piece was on the front. We took it and attached it to the back because we want the shoulder seam on the front. So this is the shoulder point. Then you measure the back armhole length up to the shoulder point, And this is the front armhole length, those two. Okay, let's draft the sleeve pattern. Draw a horizontal line and a vertical line. This vertical line is the sleeve cap height. If you make a really big fit with a big drop shoulder, you want a sleeve cap height low and make a wide bicep. Because I didn't drop the shoulder a lot, I would go with total armhole length divided by four plus quarter of an inch or three eighths of an inch. If you know the bicep circumference you wanna make, then Watch this video, episode 89. I show you how to draft a sleeve pattern from bicep measurement without calculating the sleeve cap height. The link will be in the description box. From the shoulder point, back armhole minus quarter of an inch. I take out quarter of an inch because I don't want to have too much ease. Place the end of the ruler at the shoulder point and swing the ruler until it hits the bicep. Same for the front. Front armhole minus quarter of an inch. Place the end of the ruler at the shoulder point and swing the ruler until it hits the bicep. So now, this is the bicep. Draw a line on the top. To draw the armhole curve, measure the armhole length divided by 8 here and armhole length divided by 16 here. Connect two points. Draw the back armhole curve. For the front, mark the armhole divided by 8 minus half of an inch here, and same armhole divided by eight minus half of an inch here. Connect two points and draw the front armhole. Let's make notches. Make a notch on the back body first and measure the length from the underarm point. Then make a notch on the sleeve with the same length. I made them double notches because they are the back notches. Make a notch on the front body and measure the length from the underarm point. Then make a notch on the sleeve, same length. If you measure the rest, the sleeve armhole is a little bit longer than the body armhole because the sleeve has ease. Even if I don't have a lot of ease, there's a little bit of ease. Divide this ease by two. So the back sleeve cap and the front sleeve cap have the same amount of ease. This shoulder notch will go with this notch on the body. Okay, sleeve cap is done. Lengthen the center line. The total length should be the total sleeve length you want minus cuff height. I'm going to have a two inches and a half cuff height. 
to complete the guidelines. Before we draft the sleeve hem, let's draft the sleeve cuff first. We have to determine the cuff length. For example, I want the cuff 9 inches and a half finished. When I button up, the cuff circumference will be 9 inches and a half. Then you need 1 inch extra for the button closer, half of an inch on both sides. Then the cuff length should be 10 inches and a half. So this is the cuff, 10 inches and a half length and 2 inches and a half height. Let's go back to the sleeve. At the center, we are going to make a 1 inch tuck. So half of an inch on each side. To draw side seams, we want to calculate how much we have to take out at the hem to match the cuff, right? So measure the sleeve hem and add half of an inch because when you attach the placket later, it will be added half of an inch. So your total sleeve hem you measured plus half of an inch minus 10 inch and a half the cuff length then you know how much you want to reduce. But we already reduced one inch by making a tuck. So minus one inch. That's the final amount we want to reduce. Divide it by two and take it out from both sides. You can draw side seams straight or a little bit curved. On the back side, find a midpoint. Draw a line about 3 inches long. This is going to be the sleeve vent. Let's draw the top placket. Draw a rectangle 3 inches height because this length is 3 inches and 1 inch width. Make this double because we need the underside. Then lengthen only the top side. That's your design so you can make it a rectangle or a triangle shape. You will have a quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way around except the bottom. The bottom will have the same amount of seam allowance as the sleeve. For the under placket, draw a simple rectangle. 3 inches height and 1 inch width. For this under placket, you need seam allowance only on the bottom. This 1 inch width already has seam allowance. You will see only quarter of an inch on the upper side. Sleeve pattern is done. There you have it. We drafted the front and back body in the previous video and sleeve patterns today. I'm not going to draft the color. I already have a video on shirt color pattern making, episode 13. Watch that video to draft the shirt color patterns. Are you a pattern maker? Join my Facebook group, Pattern Making Professional. The link is in the description box. This channel is totally dedicated for young professionals to take their pattern making skills to the next level. Have an awesome week. See you next time.